Welcome to My Virtual Home. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to create your house in stunning 3D using the My Virtual Home software. Our software is based on games technology, not complicated CAD technology. This means it's easy for you to use, and more importantly, it's lots of fun to use. You can interact with your house, you can open doors, you can turn lights on and off. So sit back, relax, and watch in real time as I build a house in 3D in just three minutes. Welcome to a three minute demonstration of My Virtual Home. Click on Start Home. If you have a floor plan, click on the floor plan graphic, navigate on your PC to where you have that file saved and import it as a standard picture file. If you don't have a floor plan, proceed straight to step number two and just import rooms to complete your design. Click on a bedroom in this case, place it into the scene. I'm using my mouse wheel to zoom in here. I hit my spacebar once and twice. I'm inside that room and I can start painting and decorating that room instantaneously by clicking on the paintbrush, painting, selecting what I particularly want to. I can change products and cycle through different catalog options. I can turn lights on and off and hit the spacebar again and come back out. Resize the room just by clicking and dragging on the walls or moving products around as you need to. Add additional rooms and let them click together. Just like Lego blocks, they snap together as they need to. Add a small bathroom for an ensuite for this particular design and the walls will snap together and as you'll notice it actually turns them into internal walls at the same time. Move your furniture around as you need to, add new furniture, move, change, paint, colour. It's all up to you. My Virtual Home gives you the flexibility to design your house in this easy block building concept in just a few minutes. Let's add a kitchen for our design here. While we're adding this kitchen, kitchens can actually be built just like rooms, like little building blocks from scratch, or you can use our selected library. Click on the delete button and you can delete a wall. If you pause at any given stage during building the software, the software will start to think about where doors and windows should be placed and will place those doors and windows into the scene for you as you're starting to see happen here. You can then push and pull and move those windows around to where you particularly need to. In this case here we don't have a set of doors here so we can go into our next library which is in the menu number three which is where we find doors and windows. If you navigate into doors, you've got a choice of exterior and interior, interior doors, swing doors, sliding doors, folding doors, and you can select a door that's appropriate for your design. Place it in the wall. The enter button will rotate the door orientation around as required. Press the space bar once more, and you're down and inside the design. Once you're inside the design, double clicking on items gets them to animate and operate as they particularly should whether that's just a cupboard that needs to open up or an oven. Wander around inside your design and start changing and decorating as you particularly need to. Move items within the kitchen around just like rooms and they click back together. Change the surface by clicking on the eyedropper, changing the surface then selecting the paintbrush and painting the surface changes it to what you particularly need to do. You can change all products in the software quickly and easily and cycle through the different range. My virtual home is a lot of fun to use. I've just pressed my space bar once more there. I'm clicking on the roof and hey presto it actually automatically grows a roof for us as well. We hope you enjoy using my virtual home as much as we've enjoyed making it for you and please be sure to leave a feedback for us in our forums at mvhlive.com. Thanks for your time.